<laughs> it's the time when Stuart had to go at talking to chimpanzees. How to speak chimpanzee. Lesson one, saying hello. When you meet a fellow chimp, greet them with a simple grunt. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. If you're feeling really friendly, shake hands or even kiss. Getting something to eat. Stick out your lips in a big pout, then grunt lots of times. Don't forget to point to what you want. If you don't get what you want, you're probably asking someone who doesn't speak chimpanzee. Finding out if someone speaks chimpanzee. Put your lips together and give a long hoot. Breathe in noisily. Ha! Repeat several times. Lemurs don't speak chimpanzee. And that's all there is to it. Now, it might seem a bit far-fetched, but Dr. Doolittle's dream of actually talking to animals could soon become a reality. A new book just out has all sorts of useful phrases for chimp chat. So it's au revoir to your French books, adios to Spanish, and hoo-hoo-hoo to chimps. To test the book out and see if it's really possible to talk chimp, I went to Monkey World in Wool in Dorset. It's home to all sorts of primates, orangutans, lemurs, chimpanzees, and the director, Jim Cronin. <laughs> How was that? Very good, old Stuart. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. I speak chimpanzee as well. Good, I'm relieved to hear it. But is it really possible? Can humans actually speak chimpanzee? Yeah, they certainly can, mm. yeah. The chimpanzees have a language uh, all of their own. In fact, uh, people too often teach chimps how to speak like people in sign language, and that's not what should be done. You should learn how to speak chimp. And is it just a question of noises, or is it actions as well? They're very excitable little beings, so they, when they want to say something and, and they, they, they'll gesture to you, you know, I want something, or they want to show off, they get big and they act tough. <laughs> so, in fact, they've got a whole range of things. There's body language. As, as well as sounds. How did you actually set up Monkey World? I, we set it up back in 1987. We uh, heard about uh, an English couple, uh, the Templars, Simon and Peggy, who were rescuing chimps who were working on the beaches of Spain, dressed up. They had been smuggled from their homes, taken from their families, and were working 16 hours a day. And the sad part is, is that when they got five or six years old, a lot of them died. So we set up Monkey World specifically here in Dorset to actually give a place where we could bring the chimps and make them chimps again. Now for the advanced course with Jeremy Keeling and Bob. Do you, and that, you want me to put my hand? <laughs> yes, you offer him your hand. He, yeah. he gave you his hand. Offer your hand and he'll... That is a way of... That's a trust sort of thing. Hey, look, I could have bitten your finger off and I didn't. What was when he was going... He was going to do that short... Little, ooh, 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 what, what was that Yes, so say hello. Hey, right. yeah, I don't know hello. you. Yeah, yeah, should, we, should I try that again and see yeah, if I can on. say hello again? Go on. <laughs> Yes, that's great. I don't know Excellent. quite what you've said to him, but... No, I don't know what I've said to him, but there we are. He seems <laughs> happy like with it, it, so it doesn't really matter. I'm still not sure about this chimp chat, you know. Time to put it to the test and see if I can really talk to the animals. <laughs> Oi, do you think we should tell him we're around your tongue? <laughs> to you, mate. Can't understand a word he's saying. <laughs> What's he saying? I don't know. It's all baboon to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Memories. Thank goodness for Nicky Clark, I say. Get that haircut, boy. <laughs> but uh, wow, do you know what? Actually, after that film, I actually did adopt one.